the cannon. For nearly 700 years, artillery like this has brought destruction and terror to the battlefields of the world, and when put to their deadly task, have brought down castle walls and armies alike. Now, before we get into my cannon experiment, I'm gonna drop some artillery knowledge. Knowledge! Modern artillery is a far cry from its predecessor, with accuracy and range only dreamed of by battlefield commanders of the past. The cannon's origins can be traced all the way back to 12th century China in the Fire Lands. However, like a lot of things, it was not intended for war. You see, they were actually designed to shoot fireworks. It wasn't until the 13th century that the cannon appeared on the battlefield during what was known as the Edwardian phase of the Hundred Year War at the Battle of Creasy, where it was used to bring down castle walls. The cannon spelled the eventual end of big siege equipment, like the trebuchet. The cannon remained relatively unchanged up until about the 1800s, when Martin von Warndorf invented the breech-loading gun. There's no denying that cannons have helped shape world history, with the medieval hand cannon to the thousands of artillery pieces of World War I and the super guns of World War II, like the Gustav, which fired a mind-boggling 10,500-pound round to the highly mobile modern howitzer. One thing all those cannons got in common? I've never shot one. Well, that changes the day. Kind of. You see, my cannons are made of wood. When I was a kid, I had this toy that, uh, it was a cannon, but it looked like it was made out of an old rum barrel. It was like on a pirate ship or something. And I thought to myself, hmm, Will that work? Well, we're gonna find out today. Now, we're gonna start small, then work our way bigger. So let's head over to the range and get that done. For this first shot with a nine millimeter, we use 15 grains of powder. Okay, it didn't explode. Let's look at the damage. Yeah, I can hear the ball rolling around in there. So it didn't go all the way through, but I didn't have a whole lot of powder in it. So let's look at the cannon. All right, cannon's still in good shape, surprisingly. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what kind of wood this is. But if you guys can guess, I will send you a $10 gift card from Amazon. So if you can guess, leave it in the comments below. We're gonna load this up with a little bit more powder and see if we can make it go boom. All right, let's check it out. Okay, that was 30 grains of powder. Let's see the damage. It didn't blow the box of mashed potatoes up like I hoped it would, but it did go all the way through. There's potatoes leaking out. But the cannon, the cannon did what I thought it might do. It blew up. It split it perfectly in half, knocked it off its base. Parts of the wadding here. So, Apparently that was too much powder. Let's go to the next one. All right, the first cannon shot this. This cannon is a 38 millimeter, so it shoots this. So let's see what kind of damage we can do. <laughs> 
Okay, wow. All right. As you can see, the cannon did not survive at all. We found chunks of it every bit of 100 yards away. Uh, I have no idea where the cannonball went. As you can see, our two liters are unscathed. So the ball went in that direction somewhere. We know the ball went down range because we found some wadding down range of the cannon. But uh, I think that's gonna include our test. Uh, as you can see, wooden cannons don't work. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And I'll catch you next time. Stay safe and keep shooting, America.